Hey, this is Ryan Hayden again from Rowan Table. And um, in this video, I'm gonna continue what I did in the last video. In the last video, I showed you how to set up a CRM um, in Airtable, and that was kind of a longer video. I'm gonna keep working off of that and keep making some more videos, um, sort of flesh that out and show you a little bit more about what you can do with Airtable. So I'm gonna jump into this base. Uh, this is, I've done some work to the other base, so I made a snapshot before I did, and I'm just going back into this CRM example base just as we left it off in the last place. And I wanna talk, talk about what I wanna do with the CRM at this point. So at this point, it's pretty well functional in that it works, uh, you can track you know, companies and projects and to-dos and interactions and team members and all that stuff. But there's a bunch more that we can do to this with Airtable that would be super useful. And one of the things that I thought about would be um, finding out which, uh, which clients or which company is most valuable to us. And I think going through this will teach you a couple more neat little Airtable tricks that you can take and apply to anything else that you're doing. So um, let's, uh, let's do this. Let's first go to the projects because it would make most sense for the project to be where uh, we track the project value, right? So we're gonna add a field, we're gonna call it project value. And we're going to choose currency, okay? And we're in America, so the default things will work right here. Project value. And let's go through each of these projects and let's give it a value. So let's say this one's an internal project, so it's not worth anything. <laughs> um, a parts tracker, let's say that one's worth, I don't know, $500. Um, actually, five thousand um, dollars. The login list, uh, you know, let's say that one's worth twelve thousand dollars. And uh, let's add some more projects. So let's see. Um, let's say we want one for let's say progressive web app. And the client, let's say the client is John Doe, and the um, company is already provided for us here, and we'll say the status is pre-planning, and the project value, let's say seven thousand dollars, not seventy, seven thousand dollars. All right, cool. So we have project value here that we can track now, um, and what would be cool would be it would be cool if we can go and we can uh, figure out um, which. Uh, which clients are worth the most money, okay, to our brand. So this is actually pretty easy to do. So what we need to do is we need to, to use something called a lookup field, or, or rather a rollup field, all right? And so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna call it, just we're gonna have this one um, value, okay? And we're gonna choose the rollup field type. And in this rollup field type, we are going to choose the projects table because we're looking into this projects table and the field that we want to roll up is actually project value. Now, in this roll up field, it's kind of similar to a formula field. It's just a formula that's done on a bunch of other fields. And so we can do average, we can find the average value of the projects, um, count, we can just count them. In this case, what we want to do is we want to sum them up. So we want to add them all together to just to find a dollar value for how much money this particular client has brought into our business. So we're just going to choose sum, and then we're going to go to formatting. And right now, if I hit save, I'll show you this. If I hit save, it's just going to be a number, but we actually want currency here. So we're going to go back to customize field type, choose formatting, and choose currency. Hit save, and that's what we got. So now we can look at this and we have a list of clients and how much money they have brought into our business. And you can see here, um, you know, John Doe has brought in $12,000. Uh, and then we've got, you know, these folks each bringing in their own different thing. Okay, so what else? What else would we want to find out? Well, what if what if some of these have referred other people? That would kind of be valuable to us, right? We would wanna know that. So the first thing we'll do is we'll just do uh, referred by. 
And um, what we're going to do another linked record. But how would we do this? Because we're actually linking to the same table. Um, here's something most people don't realize you can do with Airtable, which I think is awesome. You can actually link to your table and you can have links to the existing table. Like so clients can link to other clients. And this is super useful in something like this because it allows us to uh, keep a list of this like sort of inter-table relationship that's really cool. I'll show, we're going to do something with this in a minute. So what we can do is we can go to referred by and let's see here. Um, let's say that John Doe was referred by Frank Frankson. And let's say Bobby Bigheart was referred by Frank Frankson. Okay, so now we know that there's a relationship here and that Frank, even though he's only brought in $5,000, he's actually brought us two $24,000 or two $12,000 projects. So let's do something else here. Let's count how many people um, let's say active references. All right. And we're going to count how many people each of these people have brought in through referrals. To do that, we'll use this count field. And this is just a simple way to count up how many things are in each one of these things. So we're going to choose. Um, actually, we can't do this with the count field. So forget that. All right. So we have a value and we have this referred by. That's pretty valuable as is. Now we can actually sort this by uh, value. So we can sort our customers instead of by name, we can sort them by value. So we're going to do that. And now we see that John Doe is um, more valuable, but we can also group them and we'll group by referred by. So now we see that Frank Frankson, even though uh, as, as a reference, he's brought in 24,000, whereas these people have not brought in any references. So you can see sort of, even though Frank Frank's in here has only brought in $5,000 for his one project, he's actually brought the company $24,000 uh, on top of his five, so $29,000. And you can pick, it, pick that up really quickly. Let me show you one other thing that's kind of cool that we can do with this. Um, and that's with the blocks feature. So if we click blocks, um, this is a pro only feature. So you have to do, I think it's $24 a month per user to have access to these blocks. And I'm going to make some, some videos about the blocks and things that you can do with the blocks uh, going forward. But we're going to do one called, I'm going to find it here. You can look at all these things. It's pretty cool. Let's find org chart. So we're going to add that to the base. It's going to pop up for us. And we want to organize this table client, table view. Um, we want to click parent by referred by. And then the secondary field will be value. So we can look at this and we can see with this org chart, we can see right away that Frank Frankson is our most valuable customer by far even though he's only brought one $5,000 project, he's actually brought in an additional $24,000 in referrals. And so we can do that really easily with this Airtable. So um, I am going to close this and we have this beautiful org chart here right next to that. So this is just a, another example of what we can do with the CRM. Um, in the next video, we'll, we'll build out some more stuff and I'm excited about it.